today I'm busting 23 myths inside of Brookhaven. So for the first myth, apparently inside of this secret room in this house, there's another secret room. Now everybody knows about the secret room right here. You come downstairs, you go in the basement, press that button, okay? But if you get out a laptop and then sit in all five chairs, as you can see, you should be able to open up this second room. Okay, so you sit in all five chairs and then you go over here in the corner and then you click this little button right there and then you have to like kind of walk in the wall. It's somewhere over here. Just walk around till you find it and boom, right here. Another secret room. It is true. <laughs> My friend said, huh? So that's myth confirmed. Now continue on this myth. Apparently you can actually access an anti-gravity room where you can sit upside down. Okay, so what you have to do for that is you just click right here on the, the computer's like small button. So you click right over here. Wait, where's the button at? There you go. You heard that noise. Then you got to head to the underground bunker. And guys, I'm not going to lie. This myth is actually pretty crazy. So this works. Okay, so you're in here. You turn the lights off. You press the blue monitor. And then before you type the password, you actually have to walk over here. And then you type in Marcus Brookhaven. And yep, as you can see, look at this. Right here, we have another secret hidden room where basically there's anti-gravity. Because you can literally sit upside down. And look at this. Like, <laughs> Bro, look at me. My friend said, what the heck is this? I said, have you seen this before? He said, I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> no. Okay, this is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. So that is also myth confirmed. So for the third myth, apparently you can make cars fly in Brookhaven. So what you have to do is go ahead and go to the jumping board at the pool. You jump on it, get some air time. And then once you go really high, wait, come on, come on, higher. Once you go really high, you just spawn in a car and, oh, wait, did it work? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Hold on. All right, let me jump higher. Come on, come on. And, okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if that's myth confirmed confirmed or not the cars kind of fly but they're also just kind of like falling out of the sky let's try one last time with the minivan or the, the big van actually i say that's myth busted <laughs> it's just cars falling out of the sky but uh up to you guys so for myth number four apparently you can go invisible inside of brookhaven what you do is go ahead and make your avatar really small so let's go ahead and make it max or minimum size and then take everything off that way you're small just make your skin dark maybe take off the face there we go <laughs> and then you spawn in a motorcycle and come on Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I did it wrong. I forgot a step. You need to lay down. And as you can see, I'm not going to lie. I would say I'm invisible, bro. Like, it's, it's literally a motorcycle driving itself. So I think that's myth confirmed. That's pretty sick. So relating to ghosts, we actually have myth number five, which is apparently you can make a ghost spawn in the museum. So first you go to the hospital and then go to the second floor. Then you go over here, click on this logo. Then you go to the library and click on a red book. And where's the red book at? Oh, wait, it's in the ceiling, I'm pretty sure. You go right here and as you can see it's a hidden book in the ceiling and you heard that noise boys that's how you know it's gonna be creepy then you go to the museum and click right here on this display and wait is it working okay look at the red look at the red i don't want to turn around oh there it is oh look at that that's so creepy bro what is that even like for bro and what are the noises wait is it looking at me okay no no no. i, I can't tell right now i don't know do i touch it do i touch it uh, i don't know should i wait it went away my friend said yeah i'm out <laughs> wait let me try one more time oh it doesn't work anymore Dang. Well, that is myth confirmed. All right, so for myth number six, we have a secret room inside of the motel. So all you do is grab your ladder, put it down right there, and then you just stick a sleeping bag right here in the wall, apparently. And let's see if it works. Come on, put me in. Oh, what the heck? I think it's glitching out, actually. Hold on, we watch this. Ready? Come on, and wait. Uh, let me try a little higher. Come on, come on. And oh, it worked. Okay, so that is true. Myth confirmed. I mean, to be fair, it's not like a bedroom, but uh, it's a room. And now that I think about it, uh, I can't get out. <laughs> We're stuck. Myth number seven. So apparently there's a way to get under the map. First, you have to go to the movie theater. Now, once you get in here, you have to sit in three chairs. So one, two, three. Then you get a sleeping bag and put it in the screen. And I think it's facing the other way, though. And okay, let's see if it works. Come on. And oh, it works, bro. We're literally under the map right now. Look at my friend. Oh, my friend just died. <laughs> that's awkward. He said, ah. Well, that's all of them confirmed. All right, so for myth number eight, apparently you can fill your car up with premium gas to make it go faster. So as you can see, I have my car right here, fully stocked. I haven't upgraded it at all or anything. And I'm going to go to the gas station. Now look, on the side, it literally says unleaded and then super. So it actually kind of makes sense that there'd be premium gas. I'm not going to lie. This myth might be true. So what you go ahead and do is go ahead and pull up to the gas station and we're going have my friend she tests out as well he'll be having a normal car then you have to get out two credit cards so the purple one or blue one and the pink one and then you can't just fill up because you fill up like that then as you can see it's working but no 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 you don't want to do that
that. Stop that. You have to pay twice with both cards. Now, guys, this might be a scam. I don't know, but uh, let's go ahead and try it out and then fill it up. Okay, start filling up and that's pretty good. Wait for it. Okay, perfect. And then we get in the car and I'm going to say, Ken, line up, my boy. All right, so here we go in three, two, one, and go. Oh, bro. Uh, what the? This car is so slow, bro. What is, what is this? I'm getting smoked. Uh, okay, that's it. I'm upgrading the car. Max speed 200, turbo stage three. Oh, we're gone. Oh, I just crashed. That's awkward. Well, uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. That's uh, that's myth busted. Kind of sad, honestly. All right, so for myth number nine, apparently there's a secret room inside of the mall. So you go ahead and walk in the mall, as you can see. Go to the Happy Burger. Go to the stove. You put the sleeping bag right here, and let's see if it works. And come on. Oh, and we're in. Yep, secret room. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what this room would be used for. Like, probably nothing. <laughs> but it is a secret room. And we're stuck again. My friend said, no food. Rude. For myth number 10, apparently the fountain makes you spin. Now, if if you go ahead and hop in the fountain, we'll see if this is true. I mean, kind of. Wait, let's see. Uh, wait, what the heck? Uh, is this spinning? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, no, this is definitely spinning. Like, what is this? I don't know what kind of myth that's supposed to be, but, uh, myth confirmed, honestly. You can't do that in the pool, so, uh, yeah. For myth number 11, apparently the horse and the wheelchair are the same speed. Now, that would make literally no sense because, I mean, it's a horse versus a wheelchair. So, we're gonna line up. And in three, two, one go! <laughs> Wait, no, no way he's peeing! <laughs> what is this? He said vroom. Bro, how is a wheelchair faster than a horse? Okay, this is a scam. I've lost all faith in Brookhaven. Myth busted. So for myth number 11, apparently if you go to the Eagle View house, you can actually have a house with a window. So you go here, you get the small house, which I'm pretty sure it's this one right here, but you don't just get it right away. As you can see, there's a lot of windows in here and none of them actually open because first you have to turn off all the lights. So go upstairs, turn the lights off, go down here, turn the lights off, and then you lock the door and then I'm pretty sure you can open up one of these windows and okay not that one. Oh, i think it's this one and come on and yes as you can see you literally have a locked door but you can still open windows that's kind of sick i'm not gonna lie and you can walk right through it so myth confirmed so for myth 13 apparently you can actually fly in brookhaven now what you need to do first is go to the brookhaven billboard and write on the billboard slash fly then make the billboard black and apparently it's supposed to kind of signal the command to work but i don't believe it so <laughs> then you type slash fly in the chat and no, okay, it doesn't work. Okay, I, I didn't believe that one for a second anyways. All right, myth busted. I mean, you can type slash AFK, and, or just AFK actually, and then you can kind of fly. I don't, that doesn't really count, but uh, myth busted. So for myth number 14, apparently if you sit at a bus stop for one Brookhaven hour, a bus will actually come. So we're at a bus stop right now, and uh, it's currently 1 p.m., so I guess we wait an hour. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This will probably waste the time, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, so we got about 20 Brookhaven minutes left, or 15 now, and I don't see any buses around here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This might be myth busted. Okay, and we have two minutes left and there is literally no bus. I was right. And wait, wait, what what does that sound? Wait a minute, what? Oh bro, that's my friend on a bus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, uh, myth busted. He said, hello, senor. So for myth 15, apparently you can get a free apartment without actually having to buy it. And let's see if that's true. So what you do is go to the apartments, go to like the second one, grab her sleeping bag, put it in the door. And does it work? Does it work? Oh, yo, I'm not going to lie. That, that is a free apartment. I mean, you can literally furnish this place with like stuff. I mean, you grab the props. You can put a, you know, a for sale sign down, <laughs> uh, like a, like a little, like a little, little vanity thing. Bro said time to hide bodies. Hey, yo. Chill. So that is myth confirmed. All right, so for myth number 16, apparently if you go to the art class in school, sit in the art thing all the way in close to the corner, whatever you draw will come to life. So I guess I'll try it. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a dog. Guys, I'm not a very good artist, so maybe that's why it won't work, or maybe it will work. We'll see, I guess. But let's go ahead and just draw some legs. Oh gosh, this is bad. This is really bad. Is this a bunny? I don't even know, guys. All right, put an eye, a little happy face, and tail. Yeah, I think it's a rat, actually. <laughs> what is that? All right, let's see if it worked. And oh, my friend's there. Um, yep, only one rat in sight and not the rat I drew. So, all right, well, that's myth busted. <laughs> myth number 17, you could turn into a zombie in Brookhaven. All you have to do is spawn in the frat house once again, and then you go inside of here, go to the arcade, hit play, and then you delete the house. So, hey, I'm a zombie. Oh. 
Oh, um, well, if you jump, it doesn't work. Well, you know, I'm gonna say myth confirmed. That was pretty cool. You said no zombie, bro. Yo, chill. So myth number 18, apparently you can go to space inside of Brookhaven. So you spawn in the rocket ship house. You go inside, lock the door. You go inside of the rockets, go downstairs, press this button right here. As you can see, now that's on. Go up top to the main control room. You sit in this chair right here. Press ignition, countdown, ship lights, pad lights, everything. Alert button. And is it working? Wait, what? It's counting down. Uh, cut engines. Wait, no, not that one. Is it actually going to work? No way you go to space in Brookhaven. Uh-oh. Uh, let me get inside. Let me get inside. Let me get inside. Sit down. Three seconds. And two, one. Uh-oh. Ignition. Wait, what? Okay, absolutely happened, guys. Uh, we're still we're still on Earth. So, uh, myth busted. So, for myth number 19, apparently, you don't actually get the same color clothes as the clothes you click in the clothing shop. So, as you can see, there's a red shirt right here. If you click it, apparently, you're not gonna get a red shirt. So, let's see that happens. And wait, what? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually kind of close. Uh, let me try that again. Um, let's see. No, wait, that's not red. Wait, what the heck? This is definitely not red. Okay, what is this drip, bro? I need to change back. Oh, this is horrible. Well, myth confirmed, I guess. So, for myth number 20, you're supposed Supposedly, you're able to actually drown in Brookhaven. All you need to do is go to the lake, you jump in the water, and stay underwater for about 10 seconds. So, I'll count to make it simple. And, bro, I'm going upside down right now. I've been in the water for about 8 seconds, 9 seconds, 10 seconds, and uh, I'm not drowning. Okay. Uh, myth busted. Nothing happened. That would be kind of cool, honestly. <laughs> I could use that on some people. Uh, okay, him right there. But it's okay. He's not going to know that. So for myth 21, people say there's actually a hidden room on the yacht. So what all you need to do is go down to the yachts, go inside of the bedroom area, go to the shower, and then turn the shower on, walk in, and yep, it's true. Hidden room in the yacht. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I can get the money. Let me get that. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> I got gold. Oh, wait, what the heck? Guns. Everything. Oh, let me not. Let me not. Well, that's myth confirmed. Myth number 22. You're actually able to drive the yacht in Brookhaven. So they said you need to turn the campfire on first and then go to the driver's seat and there's no way this works, bro. Um, Yeah, th th uh, it's not moving, bro. It's not moving. Uh, <laughs> myth busted. So for myth number 23, apparently you can actually get a free cookie in Brookhaven. All you have to do, for example, let's say you're watching a nice Tappy video. You subscribe to Tappy, like the video, and then uh, oh, there's a fish with a cookie. <laughs> hey, free cookie! <laughs> so today, I'm testing 18 glitches inside of Brookhaven. Now, for the first glitch, apparently you're actually able to break inside of a banned Brookhaven house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get banned from this guy's house really quick. Let's just spam his doorbell. And uh, hello, what's up, buddy? Oh, and I'm banned. <laughs> okay, as you can see, it's all red. I'm not actually able to walk inside. I'm trying to walk inside. I literally can't, but my friend can. So what you do is you get your friend to actually carry you. There we go. And look at this. I'm inside of a banned Brookhaven house. It's literally not supposed to be possible, okay? And oh, look, there's the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> he said dot dot. And okay, you've been my friend too. So now we're both out. But it's actually pretty sick because it does work. You're able to get inside of a banned Brookhaven house. So that is glitch confirmed. So for the next glitch, you're actually able to spawn ladders on top of each other and build up into the sky. Now it's also a two person glitch. So I'm gonna have my friend spawn his ladder. And then what you do is jump on top of that one. Oh, and we both fell. <laughs> and there we go. And then I put my ladder on top of that one. And look at this, we're already floating. It looks like we're hacking. All right, now he gets up here, puts his ladder on mine. Perfect. Oh, and he just fell to the bottom. <laughs> well, anyways, I'll have my friend delete his ladder. And look at this. I'm literally just flying in the sky. I mean, this is that technically a flying glitch, if you ask me. You're able to get super high up. You can scale walls. You can go wherever you want, really. So, um, W glitch. Glitch confirmed. Okay, so for the next glitch, apparently, if you get the Bugatti and you put on max turbos and then put it to max speed, then you set your drift settings to 1.5. <laughs> and look, Ken is scared. Now, if you drive full speed into the wall, apparently, you're able to actually get into another game game or maybe another part of Brookhaven. I don't really know. I'm sure you guys have also wondered like what's on the other side of those walls? Like wh what are these walls doing in Brookhaven? So hopefully this glitch works. But all right, boys, here we go. Bugatti, max speed. Oh, oh don't crash. Don't crash. Ah! Oh, what the? Okay. Well, nothing happened. Um, Ken, you okay, bud? <laughs> I'm gonna say, you okay? I think my friend is dead now. He said, smelling concrete. <laughs> um, well, that is actually glitch busted, guys. Unfortunately, that one doesn't work. Kind of sad, honestly, because I want to know what's behind those walls, but I guess we'll never know. All right, so for the next glitch, apparently there's a flying motorcycle glitch. Now, what you have to do, actually, is get your friend to carry you on his back. There we go. And then he gets on the motorcycle inside the arcade. And now, once he's on here, you go ahead and teleport to a house. And boom! <laughs> now, if he 
moves and glitches out really weird. So let me get him to stop moving. But look at that. That makes no sense. And okay, if I try to jump, he's still there. So I don't really know how to explain that glitch. It's pretty weird. I'm not going to lie. But there's also just a, a creepy motorcycle there now. I mean, that's just weird. I mean, can I get on it? Oh, what the? Okay. <laughs> and if you get on it, it just brings you back to the arcade, I guess. Yo, this glitch is insane. What the heck? That's actually so cool. Oh, yo, I wonder if he saw that. He said, yo, what the? <laughs> okay, well, that is actually glitch confirmed. A pretty cool glitch in my opinion. So definitely get your friend and try that one. He said you were going through the floor. Bro, I know. That was crazy. <laughs> All right, well, glitch confirmed. All right, so for the next glitch, you're actually apparently able to fly with just this fountain right here. So if you go ahead and get in the fountain and then just kind of swim around it a little bit, you'll see that you just swim, right? Now, if you swim along the edges and then very slowly go over the edge, I'm literally flying. Okay, wait, it's kind of glitched, but why am I swimming outside of the fountain? That makes no sense. Now, if you go up, come on, go up. Uh, I'm trying to go up. It won't work. Normally, it would actually fly upwards. Let me try it again. But here we go. Come on. It takes a little bit of glitching. You know, you have to kind of try it a few times, but you get swimming. Oh, my friend said be smaller. I'm pretty sure that actually helps as well. Let me go and make myself really, really small. 0.5 size. Come on. I just want to fly. And look, he's doing it. My friend's doing it. <laughs> what the heck? It looks so funny. His little legs are swimming so fast. Bro, he's swimming high. Okay, so that's literally a flying glitch. If you guys ask me, I mean, he is literally flying. So, oh, and I'm doing it too. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so sick. Oh, I actually stopped. But okay, that's glitch confirmed. It definitely does work. Okay, next we have a get under the map glitch. So if you guys didn't know, it's actually possible to glitch out of Brookhaven. Well, I'm pretty sure at least. We're going to try it right now. But if you go to the mall and then go inside of the movie theater and then you go down to the theater itself, you stick your sleeping bag right over here. I think that's where it is. And then you go outside and oh, oh, uh, guys, this is the wrong way. This is the wrong way. Okay, hold on. I do not want to die. Let me put a ladder right there or right there. Guys, I'm definitely going to die. No! <laughs> okay, you're supposed to put a sleeping bag right here, guys. That's kind of my mistake. But anyways, once you do that, you jump and look, we're outside of the map. I mean, uh, it's under the map, actually. And yo, wait, what is that right there? Um, I'm kind of curious, guys. Okay, I'm going to go with my free cam right now and try to see if I can find out what this is because this looks pretty interesting. Am I going to find some kind of secret glitch? <gasps> and yo, oh, it's the plane. What the heck? Who knew that when you use the plane, it teleports you under the map? That's interesting. Well, anyways, that's looking for him, boys. On to the next one. Okay, so the next glitch actually involves involves the plane and apparently lets you fly the plane, which I'm not sure if it works or not. But if you go to the plane itself, which is right over here, don't go on the airport. You have to go on top of the actual plane. And then you go right here. You walk to the driver's side. Apparently you can sit in the plane and fly it. So you have to do the sit emote, obviously. You sit down right there. You turn around and um, guys, it's, it's not working. It, it's it's not working. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can glitch it with the sleeping bag though. I mean, that's how you do it? Um, No, this is not going to work, guys. Well, actually, listen to the airport, but that is uh, glitch busted. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. All right, next we have the connectable car glitch. So apparently, if you grab two buses, you spawn one bus first, and then you put the next bus right in front of the other bus, it's supposed to somehow connect and turn into like a super bus. I don't know if it works or not, but obviously, as we're figuring out today, so let's go ahead and try it in three, two, one, and oh, um, wait, did it work? Let me see. Uh, no, it, it didn't work. All right, well, that's uh, upsetting. Maybe I did it wrong. Let me try it again here. Let me put it a little bit closer. I'll put it right there, and oh, it just move my bus to the side. Uh, <laughs> and now we have three buses. All right. Well, that's also a uh, glitch. Oh, what the? We have four buses. <laughs> All right, well, glitch busted. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. All right, next, we have actually a flying car glitch. What you have to do is stay on top of the diving board, but don't actually jump on it. Don't do that. You stand right here where it says warning danger, and then you spawn any car you want. So we'll spawn a Bugatti to start it off, and there we go. Wow, it is flying. <laughs> All right, so watch it fly back down, and oh, what the? Yo, look at that thing. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That's one of my favorite glitches. It's just so funny. You can use literally any car you want. So I'm going to spawn like the 14 wheelers car. And oh, look at the van, the kidnapper van. Okay. Let me try this huge truck. This one right here, guys. You know what I'm talking about, right? That one. Oh, okay. Wait, I, I, I can do it bigger for sure. Is there a bigger one? Let me try that one. And oh, <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I need to go more to the right, I think, or, or more to the left because this is a long car. Let me try it out. Please wait one second and come on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does work. It's just a little bit weird. And now there's a big giant truck in the pool. And yo, not the tank, man. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, now actually, bonus glitch on this one. If you let your friend spawn the car, you'll actually get inside of it. So I'll let my friend go and spawn his car. It could be any car as well. And it should work. It, no, it didn't work. Wait, let me try again. Wait, wait for it to come down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And I'm in. Yo! <laughs> it's actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. It can literally fling you across the map anywhere you want to go. So that is glitch confirmed. All right, next we have a glitch that can apparently get you inside of the secret tunnels of Brookhaven. So you got to go ahead and get in your car and drive over to the cabin in the woods near the lake. So let's go for a quick little cruise over there. Whoops, just crashed. <laughs> Anyways, go to the subway right next to it. And then you go all obviously in the subway itself. Not to why the lights were off, but you walk inside of the subway. You go to the back of it. And now, as you can see, it's a secret room. Okay, we're literally moving inside of the tunnels right now. But if you somehow glitch into here, which you do in a sleeping bag, then you're able to actually get into the secret tunnels of Rookhaven. Now, I hope it works, boys, because it sounds so sick. But let's try it. And I think it should work. Come on. And oh, um, guys, I don't, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> Let me try it again. And come on, man. I want to go to the tunnels. And oh, I think I'm outside of the map. I'm definitely going to die. And yeah, <laughs> I just died. Oh, my gosh. I wanted that one to work, bro. All right, well, that's glitch busted. Unfortunately, that does not work, boys. All right, next, we have the flying bomb glitch. Now, this one involves you making yourself super, super small. And then you pull out a bomb. You have to lay down with the hurt animation. And then you put the bomb right on your chest. And it should make you fly. Now, it might take a few tries, but let's try it. And oh, um, I'm not flying. All right, well, never mind. Just explode that. All right, put it again. And bro, it's not working. What the heck? I told you, boys, you have to try it quite a few times. So just keep trying if it doesn't work. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, put it right in my chest, right there. And yes, it's working. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but look, I am literally flying up right now. <laughs> I'm a hacker, bro. He said, yo, what the? Oh, and oh, it disappeared. Oh, and yo, what the heck is happening to me now? All right, well, unfortunately, it didn't work. I want to try it again, though, boys. That was such a sick glitch, dude. Come on, let me try it. Come on, it takes so many tries. That one works half the time. And yo, yes, it worked again. I love this glitch. Guys, comment down below which glitch is your favorite, but we're still not done. We have a lot more to go. All right, so that's glitch confirmed. All right, next. Apparently, there's actually a glitch where you can drown in Brookhaven, which, if you guys didn't know, is pretty much impossible, but there's a glitch for it. So, what you have to do is go ahead and grab your binoculars, find a house, spawn the house in. It can be any house as long as it has a pool in it. So, we'll go ahead and spawn this house right here. Go to the backyard, spawn your pool in. Now, what you have to do actually is just go inside of the pool, okay? And if you want, you can put a sleeping bag in there to make it so you actually lay there and don't swim. But once you're in your pool, I'm going to say, Ken, hop in, buddy. You're going to drown with me. Bro said, sounds good. <laughs> All right, so you just spawn the pool, and there we go. And um, <laughs> we are now stuck. Yeah, we're definitely drowning. Listen, boys, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if this counts or not as drowning, but in my opinion, it does. So I'm going to say that is um, glitch confirmed. We are going to drown. All right, so next is apparently a way to actually explode your car in Brookhaven. Now, it doesn't involve this thing right here. Not none of this. This doesn't count. It actually makes your entire car explode. Now, what you got to do is get your friend to spawn in a car and then spawn in your own car. So then you want to get them to max turbo and also max speed get some distance between each other and then you want to go full on speed with your car so here we go in three two one go okay come on come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on. oh what the okay that didn't work <laughs> all right so that is a uh, glitch busted um yeah it just made a little loud noise kind of unfortunate okay for the next glitch we actually have a pretty cool spying glitch and what you do is make sure you have no house then you want to go ahead and click the house button and the binoculars and then you can actually look at any house you want right everyone knows this this. But if you pull out binoculars while you're in that menu, you can spy wherever you want. And if you turn your UI off, it gets even better. Now, as you can see, you can literally look anywhere you want. You can spy anywhere you want. It's super sick. So in my opinion, uh, that is glitch confirmed. Okay, so for the next glitch, apparently we type slash AFK in the chat. It makes you levitate. And oh, it didn't work. Oh, wait, maybe it's just AFK actually. And yeah, you're levitating. You know, I don't know if this counts as a glitch or not, but in my opinion, it kind of is. So glitch confirmed. All right, so for the next glitch, apparently you can actually kill people inside of Brookhaven. Now, 
you do that with the garbage truck. So first thing you gotta do is spawn in a garbage truck. Then as you can see, you have this little button on the side of your screen. What you do is you actually grab your friend with the garbage machine. So you drive up next to him and I'm sorry, bud, but you're gonna have to die today. Let me change my speed a little bit lower. There we go. You line up right next to him. I'm gonna say uh, a bit closer, please. <laughs> you said premium trash. You press the button and oh, it doesn't work. Bro, I thought it worked. I swear I did. I'm gonna say uh, try a car. Maybe that'll work. All right, let's try it. Come on. And okay, that doesn't work either, boys. Well, boys, that is glitch busted. Unfortunately, it does not work. All right, so for the next glitch, we actually have a racetrack ramp glitch. Now, it's kind of debatable if this is a glitch because it wasn't meant to be used like this. So it kind of is. But if you go ahead and actually get a tow truck and then you light it up in the middle of the road, just like that, put the tow truck thing down, it is now officially a ramp. Then you get your friend in a super fast car and <laughs> we'll see what happens with this, boys. Here we go. And you drive at it max speed. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. It should be a ramp and come on. Oh, well. That, that, that didn't work. <laughs> what the heck, man? Come on again, 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 again. And okay, well, that's uh, definitely glitch busted. All right, so for this glitch, apparently you're able to die in Brookhaven using this thing right here. So what you want to do is actually go ahead and just drive up into it with your car. You put the lift up and... Oh, I'm not on this thing properly. And yo, what the heck? I'm falling. Then you lower the lift while you're uh, under it. And I'm definitely going to die, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, Do I die? Do I... Oh, I didn't die. Oh, well, never mind, guys. Glitch busted. So today, I'm testing 28 secret places inside of Brookhaven. So for the first one, apparently inside of the downtown subway, if you click right on the downtown part of the downtown station sign, you can go inside of the wall right here. And it works. And oh, okay, don't wait too long. Let's get kicked out. Now, continuing this, if you keep walking, you actually get put under the glass fountain. It's actually pretty sick. Now, if you keep walking, you can go right under it and actually even swim. So yeah, it works. Next, if you go into the hospital, everyone knows about this secret room up there. But if you go actually to the x-ray room and you jump behind this black thing right here, walk into the wall, you're in this weird room with a filing cabinet. Now, if you jump behind the filing cabinet, there's another secret place. Now, in here, they have this weird little tool. To be honest, I don't know what that does, but it's okay. <laughs> now, for the fifth one, if you go under this desk and press this blue thing right here, you get teleported into the weirdest place I've ever seen, okay? Look, you jump up and like you're swimming, but you're not swimming. And then there's a server disruption power offline. Guys, I don't really know what's going on here to be honest with you, but all I know is I found the secret place, so I had to share it with you guys. And to get out of here, you have to go to this thing right here and then click the blue right there. And it puts you next to the yacht. It's so weird. Now, number six actually has to do with the yacht. If you get on top of it and then walk right over here on the side, you see you're walking in slightly and then you fall in. Perfect. You can walk inside of the yacht. And look, it even says Wolfpack was here which is the owner. So it's definitely a secret place. Pretty cool. You could hide from basically anyone in there. Let me back up a little bit, actually. And no one would ever know. <laughs> now, secret number seven is in the cemetery. Now, everyone knows about this little hole right here. Okay, this is no secret, obviously. But what if I told you to actually bury yourself alive? Now, it's not this one. It's not this one. But if you walk right here, you fall inside of this. And guys, it's also a good hiding spot. Like, no one would ever find you here. And also, there's a cask you can press. I don't know what it does, but it sounds like a little zombie when you click it and you knock on it. It's kind of creepy to be honest with you, so I am not messing with that. Okay, I don't even want to know, but that's secret number seven. Now, for the next one, you have to get the college house. Wait for it to load in. You walk inside, you go all the way downstairs, and if you press this button on the bookshelf right here, it opens up a secret room, okay? Now, you may have heard of this one already, but for number nine, if you get out a laptop and then sit in all four chairs while you're holding the laptop, it does something kind of crazy. It allows you to click this button right here on the ceiling, which will then open up a secret hole in the wall. So you have to feel around for it. I'm pretty sure it's in this corner right here, but as you can see, it is another secret room. It's super sick. And now you feel around with your mouse right here. Press this button. You heard that noise, right? That actually allows you to enter an upside down room, which I'll show you in one second. Now for the next one, you have to make your way to the food mart, go right behind it, and then it opens up a door in the mountain. Now obviously secret agency room is pretty cool, but I'm going to show you something cooler. For this, you have to turn off the lights, so make sure you click that. Then you walk right here, press this button. It'll pop up with 
password on your screen. And before you type it in, you have to walk over to the corner right here and then type in Marcus Brookhaven, just like this. Do not misspell anything and make sure you do the same exact caps. You hit enter and watch this, boys. Password approved. Now, if you couldn't tell, we have this room right here where you can go upside down. It's weird as heck, guys. I'm literally sitting sideways right now. Actually, I'm sitting upside down. Let me do it right here. Come on. And <laughs> it's just so funny, bro. I love this room. Show this to your friends because none of them will know about it, guys. Trust me. And number 12 is actually the fact that you can go inside of this mountain, right? It's not that cool of a secret, but it definitely is a secret because it's not the agency and it's you're actually inside of a mountain. So I like it. Now for number 13, you need to get the farmhouse. So that one right there, let it load in. And then you want to grab the shovel right next to the fence. You may be asking, why do you need a shovel? Well, you're about to find out. Turn the water on so that way it spits out of this little uh, barrel thingy. And then you want to stand right here, not too close, not too far, and then dig five times. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And as you can see, it teleports you into this secret room under the barn. It's actually super sick. No one knows about this and no one will ever find you in there. And also since it's your barn, if you were to close this faucet, it would be impossible for anyone else to even get down here. Doesn't matter what goods they're using, it will not work. So yeah, pretty cool secret area. Now for number 14, now if you load in this three-story house with the pool, then go inside of the pool, you can actually find a secret room. You may be wondering, well, where is it? So you fill in the wall right here and there it is. Now guys, I had no clue about this earlier. So the fact that I found this is actually pretty sick. You can literally hide here with your friends from anyone. And let's be honest, guys, who's finding this? Probably one of my favorite secrets. Now, if you load in this house right here with the moat, it looks like it's on the beach. I won't lie. I felt like the fact that the elevator even went down is kind of a secret. Maybe I'm dumb, but I didn't know that. But the real secret is if you place the moving bag in the ceiling and then jump up to it. Now, you'll need a ladder for this. So let me get one out really fast. Put that right there. Jump in the ceiling and you're essentially out of the map. Now, guys, you need to be careful because you can actually fall to your death and die, which I don't really want to do. But I like this secret because no one's ever really going to figure this out. It's sort of a glitch. I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure if it's actually meant to be in the game, but I'm going to call it a secret. Now, I just fell, but <laughs> as you can see, you are out of the map. So you have to be very, very careful, like I said, but pretty cool in my opinion. Now, next, if you load in the military base estate, walk all the way to the back, go inside, go upstairs, of course, and then you sit in this room with the paper, okay? Or sit in this chair with the paper, should I say? And then you go ahead and jump out of the chair and then stand under this little triangle thingy right here and watch what happens, boys. And uh, it's not working, actually. Okay, hold on. Okay, you have to do it really fast, actually, boys, or else it won't work. So let me try it again. Walk right under and yes, it worked. And as you can see, you now have a secret safe that nobody really knows about. Now, you can't even get out of this room normally. You have to actually glitch out. Well, not glitch out. Use a secret room and you touch that wall right there and boom, you teleport back. Very cool in my opinion. Now, for number 17, you need the hotel. Then you go inside, walk to the left in the elevator. And if you go up and then go down really fast, make sure you're standing in the corner, you'll go into a secret room with the safe. I'm not going to lie. I actually love all these secret rooms. I didn't know about a lot of these until yesterday. So I'm glad I learned these places. <laughs> There's also another secret inside of the hotel. If you put a ladder down right here in front of these two couches and then just literally spam jump into the ceiling. Okay, I know it sounds weird, but it does work. You'll just teleport to a room. Okay, so watch this and boom. Look, what did I say? I teleported to a room. Now you can actually use the vent to just walk out. But if you go back in, you can teleport to different random rooms. So walk into the corner and then boom, new room, right? Okay, that's the same room I got unlucky, but then teleport to this one and then look, see, this is a different room. So interesting secret in my opinion. I'm not sure why they made it like that. I feel like it's a little bit weird, but a secret's a secret. Next, if you come to the mail and packages area, walk behind the building. A lot of you probably know about this one because it's pretty popular, but there's a secret room right here. Now, if you walk even further down here, there's another secret, which if you press this light bulb right here, you get to go into a secret criminal bunker. I won't lie, this is one of my favorite secrets in the entire game because you can actually look at the cameras right here and you can see police cameras. So you can look all around the map and these actually work. You see people running around all the time. So probably one of my favorite secrets in Brookhaven. Now, next, if you walk inside of the police station, you go inside of the cells, go up in the vents. Everyone knows about this, okay? I'm not gonna count this as a secret, but then you walk inside of the wall right here and where is it? I don't know. Gotta kind of just fiddle around with it. Keep walking, keep walking. And there we go, perfect. You walk in right here, you go on this hallway, you see a cool little room, okay? Not really much here except some picture of some guy. That's actually creepy. I don't know why that's there. Anyways, you go behind the cabinet and you press this key card. You get a blue key card. So that's one secret. But you may be wondering, what does this blue key card do? Well, if you walk outside the police station, click on the house, go to house number 13, go directly 
directly behind the house, past the solar panels, past the mountain, you'll find this random room in the middle of nowhere. And it's actually an electrical room. Now, if you pull out your blue key card, you press it right here, and that's another secret. Pretty cool because it's impossible to get in this room without the key card. Literally, nobody knows how to, so you can hide from anyone in there. Now, there's actually a password here too, which is your name, just all lowercase. I don't really know what it does, but it said approved, so <laughs> I guess that's cool. <laughs> now, next, if you get the garden house, and then you walk inside, jump in the water, okay? You can swim around in here, of course. But then if you swim, I'm pretty sure it's right here in this corner. You go into a secret area with extra plants. Now, you may be thinking, this is the secret? Well, no, it's not. You keep walking into the wall, you go swim through here, and you find the secret hidden safe. And you stash all your money in there, of course. <laughs> next, if you get the bunker house, then go inside, go down this ladder right here. You walk around the edge, and then you'll think, okay, well, is this a secret? And no, it's not a secret, of course. You walk right here to the missile, and then you jump in the wall. You jump up here. This is also not the secret. <laughs> you go into this wall, and then you find a safe. It's crazy how all these safes are so hidden. Like, I thought they were all just kind of visible, but now that I realize it, there were so many safes that I, guys, that I just didn't know about. Now, for probably my favorite secret in the entire game, if you spawn in this house right here, you can walk inside, go upstairs, and click this attic button, and you'll literally be able to go into the attic. I think that's pretty cool in general, okay? I didn't know about this either. Then, obviously, you have a safe, whatever. But then, for another secret, if you grab these crystals, walk out of your house, go to the church or funeral home, whatever you want to call it, grab a ladder, jump on top, uh, and you need parkour skills for this, boys. It is not easy. Come on, uh, please, please. Guys, I can't jump. Okay, there we go. You press this button right there, go back down inside of this, and you'd actually spawn in a casket, which I'm not sure why it's not there. Uh, there we go. You have to click this button right here. This is funerals. Then you click this white button on the casket. Now, guys, watch very closely when this happens, okay? Because there's going to be a big beam of light. And I'm going to teleport somewhere crazy, okay? So here we go in three, two, one, and let's do it. And oh, that's not working. What the heck? Okay, I might have waited too long. Let me try it again. Press that. Go downstairs and press this. And look at this. Oh, the beam of light went by so fast. Maybe I can get like a replay of it. But as you can see, it teleports you on to one of the arcs. In my opinion, very cool cool. I've never seen anyone up here unless they climbed up, but even then, who climbs up here? I don't think anyone does. Anyways, boys, that was 26 secrets inside of Brookhaven. Try them all out for yourself, and let me know which one's your favorite. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace.